and protesters targeted a teen event at a local library, the people of Danvers showed up to make sure their voices were even louder. As WBZ's Ken McLeod shows us, this all started with a makeup tutorial from a local drag queen. The Danvers Town Library was anything but quiet as hundreds of LGTBQ supporters turned out in noisy approval of a makeup class hosted by a drag queen. If you're not into it, just don't go. Um, I, there's no reason to deny it for somebody who wants to go to the class. <laughs> The event is part of the library's renewed effort to be a welcoming spot for teens, all teens. And you know, the advertising for it was whether it's makeup for pride or for prom, you know, you can learn something who knows makeup better than a drag queen, right? But she expected pushback and there was some, although dialogue that erupted on Facebook was largely favorable. Only a handful of protesters showed up. I just don't find it extremely appropriate for children. Among them, Jillian McCarthy, a Danvers mother with kids in the local schools, who believes a drag queen led makeup session is closer to indoctrination than education. They're innocent and they don't really know what to think yet. I think that that's a problem when you're kind of shoving it down people's throats. And it's not just here, it's everywhere. We weren't allowed to take pictures of the makeup session itself because it involved teenagers, but several were accompanied by their parents, and we did speak with their drag queen instructor. What is wrong with eyeshadow? Like, I don't know. Ms. Diamond Wigfall insists there is no hidden agenda to her makeup lesson. Just because there's a loud minority out there, there is so much more love in the world. And the library director says if feathers have been ruffled, it's worth it. It's okay for me to take that hit for the community. I don't mind because it's still important for us to do it. Police were highly visible with backups close by, but not needed. In Danvers, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.